Hi, my name is Emily and this is my YouTube channel, Red, White, and Buzzed. You can also find me on Facebook, just click the link below. My YouTube channel is going to be talking about wine from a beginner's point of view. I am by no means an expert, I just do a lot of research and I read a lot of wine books about grapes and um, wine technique and so forth. But I'm here for your viewing pleasure so that you can see me drink, talk, and stumble my way through wine bottles from around the world. So <clears throat> I'm a wine enthusiast and the more wine I drink, the more enthusiastic I get. Joke for the night. Maybe not. But I already did one and then I'm not very good at this yet and it said that I could only do 15 minutes of it and so then I had to restart over and I was already kind of buzzed. So this is going to be really good you guys. Okay so for tonight I am doing for my first ever video a wine from Washington State. It's actually from Charles and Charles and it is a Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah blend. It's from Columbia Valley, Washington and made by two visionaries, Charles Smith and Charles Beeler. Now, the vision started when Charles Beeler decided to contact Mr. Smith to make a kick-ass rosé. Because Washington doesn't have a lot of rosés. In fact, there aren't a lot of rosés. Yeah, there aren't a lot of rosés coming out of here. And now they have a pure Chardonnay as well and then the blend that I'm drinking here tonight um, from... Uh, the grapes both come from the south of France. So Cabernet is going to have this like black currant, uh, cherry blackberry fruit to it. And Syrah is going to have like this plum blueberry, um, almost blackberry jam um, fruit to it. Now Cabernet is one of the most popular, I would say one of the is the po most popular red wine in the world just because the grape skin is so thick that it's, it's easily... A able to be harvested or grown anywhere because of how thick the grape skin is. They decided to put the two together um, because uh, Mr. Beeler said, well, Cabernet has, has structure and density and Syrah has this lush unctuousness to it. And so by putting the two grapes together, they just thought it would be almost cheating. And it absolutely is because this is such an amazing wine. It's got this beautiful violet blue color to it. Now, there's a scale on everything. The amount of sweetness, the amount of alcohol, the amount of tannins, the amount of acidity, the um, everything with wine. There's there's like a level. Um, it's it's got a lot of tannins. So tan like <clears throat> if you ever eat spinach and you have that like that film on your mouth, that's tannins. So when you drink a wine and they're like, oh, that's high in tannins. That's what that is. This is a 2014 vintage, and vintage is the year that it was made. Some wines don't actually have vintage, and that's because they blend for multiple years so that they get a consistency, because grapes are very temperamental. So if it's a warm year, then they usually have to pick the grapes early so that they aren't destroyed and their whole harvest is gone. Um, if it rains, then the harvest, then the grapes will actually swell, and they can't pick them because it dilutes the wine flavor. And then if they pick them too late, then the grapes can get moldy. So I'm really glad that I don't own a vineyard because I'd probably cry a lot. All the grapes are gone. So this wine, I actually get a lot of, of, of like black cherry and possibly plum. If you smell the bottom of your glass like this, you take a big sniff. And that kind of like just opens up your nose palate. But I can get like cherry and plum. But if you go to the top of the glass, this is where your, your floral aromas, your um, like tobacco, chocolate, black pepper, cocoa, whatever, it's going to come from. So now if you go by a number system, which a lot of people do, I don't know what wine is right now. So I'm going by that because I don't have an opinion. This was given a 91. That's pretty high. Now, another thing is... Your wine glass. Your wine glass does matter. This is actually okay glass for this since it is a deeper red, more of a burgundy. Want to hear a funny joke? What do you call a dog who fetches wine? A Bordeaux collie. <laughs> this one will go good with, with, with red meat. So it's going to go good with charcuterie, boards, um, cured meats, lamb. Hi! I have dogs and they're so cute. I wish I could show you, but I'm doing this on my laptop and I really don't want to break it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Again, 
<clears throat> this is from Charles and Charles out of Washington, out of the Columbia Valley. It's very drinkable, highly drinkable, in fact. And um, I can't wait to try the rosé because I haven't even tried it yet. This is my first one that I've ever drank from them. But 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah. 2014 is the vintage. And 